But Tell me yeah. about Denzel Washington. Yeah, that's the good story tonight. Not everything we have is negative. Yeah, let's go on to this. Um, Denzel Washington declares his support for police and American soldiers, shows his disgust for those who disparage them. Uh, what? I know. Imagine I, that. I'm going to say this about Denzel Washington. I think another commentator made this, this point. That, he had a good um, career. Even when he's in a bad movie, he's still acting well in that bad movie. You know, oh, yeah. I mean, he's always been a good actor. I've always it will like, never be because of Denzel that a movie sucks. Yes, and I am very happy to see this. I've, I've, you know, I didn't even realize that this is where where his thoughts lie. I just, I always liked his movies regardless. You know, and yeah. uh, I'm, I'm very happy. I yeah, got some, I, I've, I've always been one. Your politics really do not matter to me. But yeah. it is nice when I can look at someone and go, oh, they got a brain in their head. Or, or just some common decency. Yeah. Um, this is what I like. Legendary actor Denzel Washington, whose career includes Man on Fire, Training Day, Remember the Titans, and Malcolm X. Yeah, those are all good movies, actually. Um, recently declared his support for both the police and American soldiers. Um, I had a question mark because it's like, uh, Washington's comments came while speaking with Yahoo Entertainment for his upcoming film, The Little Things, where he plays Joe uh, Deke Deacon, a disgraced Los Angeles sheriff's detect detective hunting down a serial killer. Washington stated, I have the utmost respect for what they do, for what our soldiers do, people that sacrifice their lives. Uh, he added, I just don't care for people who put those kind of people down. If it weren't for them, we would not have the freedom to complain about what they do. Yeah, And uh, he even says his appreciation for law enforcement came when he did a ride-along with a law enforcement agency while doing prep work for his 1991 film Ricochet, where he played Nick Stiles, a police officer turned district attorney. Uh, Washington explained, I went out on a call with a sergeant. We got a call of a man outside his house with a rifle that was distraught. We pulled up and did a U-turn past the house and came up short of the house. He told me to sit in the car, which I was going to do. I wasn't getting out. He got out. As he got out, another car, car came screaming up, and two young people jumped out screaming. As it turned out, it was their grandfather. This policeman diffused the entire situation by just remaining calm. But it showed me in an instant how they can lose their life. He didn't overreact. He could have pulled his gun out and shot the people that came up driving past. Yep. He could have shot the old man that was distraught and a bit confused. I think he was suffering a little bit from dementia. But in an instant, it taught me, and I never forgot it, what our law enforcement people have to deal with moment to moment, second to second, he added. So I, these are very pleasing words to me. I, I don't know if I, I mentioned this on the – I was on the Professor Geek stream recently. But my father was a police officer. So, you know, I was hearing a lot of nasty yeah. things, uh, painting – entire organizations in our country with a, with a very broad brush this summer. So I'm very thankful to see an actor actually sticking up for people who really do put their lives on the line for all of us uh, every day. You know, it's, you know, the people in the armed forces, people in the police, you know, in, in our police. So, you know, hats off to Denzel for this. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Plus size Denzel is the man. Glad he, he has not let Hollywood get to him. Well, I he he, in my opinion, is the real Hollywood. Okay, he's the Hollywood I grew up with. Okay, there are a lot of other good actors too. The, these these oh, these great leading men that we've had over the years. And like I said, I, I made a point that Hollywood these days seems to have trouble getting leading men. I think Chris Hemsworth is an example of someone who could be a modern leading man, but he's they're not really giving the new leading men much of a chance. I think, but you know, yeah. Whenever I I, I hear something like this. You know, somebody who who's not a police officer, who's not, you know, in the military, who hasn't served, who just says, you know, I really appreciate what they do for me, you know, so that I can live the life that I do. I know this the character is supposed to be seen as the bad guy, but that speech that that um, um, uh, what's his name? Um, uh uh, well, the, the character's name is Jessup. I, th that mm -hmm. famous actor uh, that played uh, the Joker um, that he gives in A Few Good Men. Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, that speech um, always comes back to me. You know, when he says, 
You don't want the truth because deep down in places, you don't talk about at parties. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. We use words like honor, code, loyalty. We use those words as the backbone for life spent defending something. You use them as a punchline. I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself to a man who rises and sleeps under the blanket of the very freedom that I provide and then questions the manner in which I provide it. I would rather you just say thank you and went on your way. Otherwise, I suggest you pick up a weapon and stand the post. Either way, I don't give a damn what you think you are entitled to. I have internalized that. Yeah. You, and you every time, pretty good. every time I, and I never say this directly, I try never to say it directly, but whenever I indirectly show appreciation for a police officer or for someone in the military, Inside myself, I am saying these things about myself. Mm -hmm. You didn't serve. They did. Yes. And that person is standing before you by divine providence because they could just as easily have given up their life to provide for you the freedom that you that you enjoy.